Arena Radionova has bounced back after being snubbed by Tennis Australia. Arena Radionova will have the last laugh after being snubbed for an Australian Open wildcard. The country's top-ranked woman was forced to compete in qualifying, where she crashed out and claimed that Tennis Australia would be celebrating her defeat. But she has now bounced back to reach a new milestone as she is set to break the world's top 100 for the first time on Monday. Radionova caused a stir during the Australian summer swing after she was left out of the list of wildcards for the first Grand Slam tournament of the year, with her lower-ranked compatriots getting picked. She was ranked at no 112 when the main draw cutoff point came, meaning she wasn't high enough to get in. I don't even know how to justify the reasoning behind it. I had a great year. I've done everything I possibly could to deserve it. They just don't like me simply. The 34-year-old said at the time. After a strong start to the season in Brisbane, Radionova ended up losing in the first round of Australian Open qualifying, leaving her with no way into the main draw. After her 6-3, 6-4 loss, she claimed. The only regrets I have from today is just I gave Tennis Australia something to celebrate. I think they are very pleased with my result today and that's what makes me upset. But the Australian number one has now avenged the snub as she will make her top 100 debut. Radionova reached the quarterfinal of this week's WTA 250 event in Wahin, eventually falling to number two seed Zhu Lin. As a result of her run, she has now provisionally jumped to 97th in the world. It means that, when the rankings update on Monday, she will be the only Australian woman in the world's top 100. At the beginning of 2023, Radionova was ranked outside of the world's top 300 following injury struggles. But she decided to grind it out in the ITF Tour. Winning 78 matches and collecting 7 titles. The Australian returned to the WTA Tour in January at the Brisbane International. There, she reached the quarterfinal, defeating 2020 Australian Open champion Sofia Kennan en route. After her heroics in Brisbane, Radionova thought she deserved the final wildcard into the main draw in Melbourne. She said, if it was up to me, I would give it to myself but there's other people involved. Hopefully they like the way I'm playing this week. I've done all the hard work. I put myself in the best position and there's nothing else I could have done to get myself closer. While it didn't work out for the 34-year-old, she is continuing to make her mark at tour level with another quarterfinal, 